Hello everyone. My name is Saleha Nakpi of class 8B and today I am going to present my mobile lab kit and its related activities. So now let's get started. So for making my mobile lab kit, I am here using this A3 sheet and a old shoe box. Now with this A3 sheet, I am going to cover this shoe box. So now let's start. So I had covered my shoe box with this A3 sheet and it's not looking that bad. So now let's move on to activity number one. So for the activity number one, uh, the main materials that I'm going to use are this bottle. So this is a used juice bottle. So you can take this one or any other bottle you have had have in your home. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut half of this portion from here with the help of this cutter. So be careful while using this cutter. So I had cut it and as you can see that I had removed this portion of the bottle and also i had removed its cap so that uh, for our first activity so now what we are going to do is that so uh, basically we had made our tumbler we had we had made a tube and at this point i'm going to apply this balloon over here so i had taken this bottle like this as you can see and this container so that if the water falls so it doesn't create a mess and a mug full of water so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to pour water from top of it so now here i'm going to pour so as you can see this balloon bulges out. Now you're gonna note the height of the water in the column. See, it's this much. Okay, now I'm going to pour some more water and then you're gonna observe. Okay, I'm going to hold it from here. I'm adding whole of it. So now as you can see, the balloon, the rubber balloon bulges again. And so what we can infer is that pressure exerted by the water column at the bottom of the container increases with an increase in the height of the column. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to tell you again. 
we can infer that pressure exerted by the water column at the bottom of the container increases with an increase in the height of the column so our first activity is done and in this mobile lab kit i am putting this bottle and this balloon now for the second activity you will going to require a transparent glass and a sheet of paper and yeah that's all what you going to require so for this activity you on appear on a sheet of paper draw two arrows arrowing any direction like here i had made in my right side both are both the arrows are um, in the direction and are arrowing to the right side so that's all what we have to do and then the second step is to take a transparent glass and fill it with water till the top now after this take your sheet and then put it behind the glass see over here okay let me show you as you can see okay let me close the light see the arrow is going the first arrow at the top is going at the right side but the arrow at the bottom is going to the left side so refraction is the bending of light refraction occurs when light travels from one medium to another that is air to water water to air During the experiment the light traveled from the image through the air then through the glass cup into the water and finally out of the glass cup and into the air once more before it reached our eyes light refracts as it passes from one medium to the next because it travels at different speed through those mediums light travels fastest through air little slower through water and even slower through gas This means that the light bends once when it travels through the cup, glass cup into the water and then it bends again when it travels out of the glass cup into the air. As a result, the light path crosses and the image appears to be flipped horizontally left to right or right to left. So now in my lab kit I'm I had already put this bottle and this balloon and I'm going to put this paper with arrows on it. So obviously I can't put uh, the glasses inside it so I'm just putting this thing. So for the third activity I'm going to use uh, this cardboard if you don't have so basically it's the drawing notebook and I'm going to use this hard cardboard and if you don't and then I'm going to cover it with colored sheet. If you don't have uh, if you don't have this type of cardboard or a thick sheet then you can simply take this sheet it's a simple foldable colored sheet you can add some more layers to it and it will become hard for your choice so now i'm going to cut a circle with diameter 20 cm and then of the same diameter i'm going to cut one more circle of this colored sheet Okay, so now what I'm going to do is that I am going to uh, I'm going to make some stars and some circles, and I'm going to paste over here and at the center also. But before that, I'm going to make a hole between it and put a sharp type thing stick. I'm going to put it inside so that I can rotate it freely. So let's do it. Okay, so as you can see over here, I had made this uh, point so that I can rotate it. So now you have to make 
this type of star so it is not looking good so i'm gonna make another one but you have to make these types of star and then we are gonna paste like over here so now let's do <laughs> So I had pasted these stars on this disc and at this point I am going to make the hole again. So now as you can see it is ready. So now let us rotate it and let us see the experiment. Observe these stars on the disc. Is there any star which does not appear to move? Where is this star located? It is the star at the center which appears to be stationary. All the other stars appear to move about the center to the, of the disk. The star corresponds to the pole star. I had put it my disk inside it. Bottle, balloon, a compass and this paper for the experiment of refraction so that's all that I have inside my mobile lab kit and I'm also adding a black marker tape a scale and scissors I hope you liked my mobile lab kit and its related activities thanks for watching bye bye